Hello, Stacy here. I'm going to teach you today how to make a lemon kit for your freezer. We're going to begin with Meyer lemons and a microplane zester. You can use any brand of zester. You can use any kind of lemon. You don't have to use Meyer lemon. You can use regular grocery store lemons. I like the microplane zester because it gives me a very fine grate of zest. There's no chunks. Um, you begin by zesting your lemons like this. You don't go too deeply into the lemon peel. Gently rub the zester across the lemon peel, taking it down to the pith, but not incorporating the pith into your zest. And your zest will slowly build up on the back of the zester. And when you're finished zesting, you just gently scrape all the zest into your container. I keep my container small. It's ideal to do an entire batch of lemons at one time because there's usually not enough zest to keep, to freeze, um, from one lemon, nor is there enough juice. You get roughly a tablespoon to two tablespoons from one lemon, depending on how ripe they are. The softer and riper the lemon, the more juice they will yield. The harder the lemon, the less juice, and usually the thicker the pith or the rind underneath. And that gives you less fruit for juicing. So you want to choose a lemon that's firm, not too soft, but soft, not hard. It can be tricky. you got to kind of touch them and see how they feel. Finish zesting your lemon so that the outside is pretty much cleaned up. It looks like this. And scrape your zest into the bowl. Okay. At that point, you're going to take a knife and cut your lemon in half. It's ideal to do this on a cutting board. I'm not doing it on a cutting board today, but I just want to make my point so that you know how you can go about doing this. I have an old-fashioned juicer. Um, some people have more modern juice machines, but I like to do it the old-fashioned way. So you juice your lemon. And when you have a ripe lemon that isn't too ripe, it's going to take out the entire inside and your juice will go into the juicer. I set aside my lemon rinds and you can do a couple of different things with them. If you have a garbage disposal, these are wonderful for freshening your kitchen. You can boil them in water on your stove and it will make your whole house smell wonderful or you can just toss them or put them in a compost bowl. Once your lemons are zested, take the zest and just put it into a snack size baggie. I zested and juiced eight lemons. I got roughly three and a half teaspoons of zest. So it does take some effort quite a bit of effort really to get very very little zest but thankfully most recipes only call for between half a teaspoon and one teaspoon of lemon zest. If you're making something truly lemony that's got a dedicated lemon flavor it'll call for more but this generally gets you enough to last mm, four, five, three, something like that. Um, I put all my zest in one bag uh, then I flatten it out and I seal it up, I get all the air out of the baggie and then I flatten out the zest like this I freeze it all together and then when I need some I just take it out, open the bag, measure what I need and I have fresh lemon zest for a recipe nothing beats fresh lemon zest Keeping it in the freezer is just like zesting it fresh and it can't compare to dried lemon zest in the jar.
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the juice from our eight lemons. Now, eight lemons will give you anywhere between three quarters cup and one cup of fresh juice. I like to run it through my small strainer because my juicer doesn't always get every seed. It also strains out any of the remaining lemon pulp. So you, your result is a pure juice. As you can see in there, there's little bits of seed, little bits of lemon pulp. It all remains behind. And in this case, I got eight lemons gave me one full cup of juice, which is actually pretty good. Um, I freeze this in increments of a quarter cup, again, in a snack size bag. Pour your lemon juice in. And you put a quarter cup in the baggie. Seal the bag, removing all the air. Like that, and then lay it flat. Okay? And you're gonna do that for each succeeding quarter cup of juice. Remember to make sure that all the air is out of the bag because this way when you stack it up, because you're going to stack them like this, okay, they stack better. Also there's less chance of getting ice crystals in any of your juice. Ice crystals mean water and water means diluted juice and that's something that we don't want to have. All told, this lemon bag, this lemon kit bag, it took me approximately a half an hour. Um, that is not really bad for what you're getting. You are getting several recipes worth of fresh juice and fresh zest, which cannot be, I cannot tell you the difference between fresh juice and zest versus bottled processed stuff and dried zest. There is nothing like fresh. It is so much better. And when you freeze it, it is the equivalent of having fresh on hand. I do this with oranges. I do this with lemons. You can even do it with grapefruit. You can do it with limes. However, I would recommend using Persian limes for lime kits um, for both juice and zest because key limes are a pain to juice. They're extremely tiny. And the zest of key limes is horribly bitter. Traditional lime flavor comes from Persian limes. Anyhow, this is your lemon kit and you just put it in your freezer and you're good to go for four, five, six recipes. This is